You know what DK stands for? Donkey Kong. Drift Kid. 1984, at Fuji International Speedway, there was a race where he drifted every single corner of the race. One of the publishers, the main publishers of the magazine, gave him that nickname. I mean, he was the guy that started all this. Tushia, who's the best in the world, in that category of people that reign supreme over the sport. Well, he did some drifting with us. It was just a wonderful experience to be there. No, no stop, but maybe bleed off a lot of speed coming towards the camera. Okay? Okay. All right. uh, it's like sumo and uh, figure skating for cars. It's just like the traditional athletes. It's how much you can control your concentration during racing, and that really dictates how you perform. If you have a lot of skill, you can perform high-speed drifting. It's extremely difficult to mimic driving poorly. So there were a couple of times when he actually got scolded. It doesn't look bad enough. Make it look as stupid as possible. Completely messed up. It makes no sense at all, but that's what we're trying to accomplish. Come on. Very, very sloppy. When he was learning how to drift, Do this fish tailing and as much braking as he can, back up and spin out of there like this. Uh. And I have him come look at this. That's terrific. Your best in the drift or Mr. Yeah, hi. hi. Huh? <laughs> Here, watch this again. <laughs> ah, good? Good. Good. The people that are most invested in this world, they're going to be very happy with the way drifting is portrayed and the, the world of drifting is portrayed in this movie. KG's level of expectations of, of what a drift movie should be is understandably really high. This is cutting edge car chase stuff. And I'm proud to say that we passed that test and then that he's part of our team. It was very fun. He said he had a great time.